If you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your FIFA Ultimate Team coins, check the link in the description and use the code ETANI to get 5% off. What have EA gone and done, guys? I don't even know what they're thinking. 90 pace Mandzukic. And you know what? Change the, change the manager. We need him on 10 camp. We need that shooting. We need everything to be boosted. What are we doing? So 90 pace. 90 shooting. As if he wasn't dangerous enough. They've gone and given him 90 pace. Now, his stats will change throughout the year. So don't be, you know, just buying him for the 90 pace. But for now... We are testing him out with that crazy pace. He is quite expensive right now because everyone's going out and buying him because they already know how overpowered he is and how cheap he was for the inform. And now he has 90 pace, 90 shooting. So his financials are going to be insane. His pace. I don't even know how he's going to feel because that is a huge pace upgrade. 90 pace, 90 shooting, 71 passing, 75 dribbling and 85 physical. That's why we put the Boxman um, chemistry style just to boost his shooting a little bit more, his dribbling a little bit more and his physical. Don't think he needs any more pace because I probably won't feel that much different. Anyway, guys, we have a really nice Serie A squad around him. Kulabani, Manalas, um, just the, I think the best two... Uh, Centre-backs in the Serie A. Skriye is another one I really want to test out. I've heard a lot of good things about him. Chiellini haven't seen much. Bozzali haven't seen much. Even Benucci haven't seen much. You know, the, the usual guys from last year. But guys, Mandzukic. How is he going to play? I'm so excited. Anyway, guys, make sure you check out G2A. Links will be in the description. Look to buy PSN cards. Microsoft points or cheap PC games. And let us see his in-games. So we had to buy him for 404k. He was very expensive. 3-star weak foot, 3-star skill moves, high and high work rates. Now he has 86 acceleration, 93 sprint speed. Make sure you take a screenshot because you'll never see these kind of stats on Mandzukic ever again. And then we have 99 attack positioning, 99 finishing, and the shot power is so high. Volleys is 99 as if he's going to need any more than that. I mean, you can't get any more than that, so what am I on about? I'm just too excited. Um... Passing stats are so trash. Like, I've, other than a short passing, that's the only thing that matters, I guess. We're not going to be crossing it to him. We're going to be crossing it to him. And then his agility is still very low. So we put... That's why the marksman kind of helps. It brings up into the 70s. Um, his reactions are cr incredibly high. Um, over 90. And also, ball control is in the 80s now. And dribbling is in the 80s now. Which is always good. Now his heading accuracy is 91 and we put plus 10 on his jumping guys. So 95 jumping, 91 heading accuracy and 90 strength with over 90 aggression. And this guy is 6 foot 3. I'm excited. Are you excited? Let's go. Alright dudes, so the team we are facing. This guy's got one to watch Fred. He's got a lot of pacey players. Oh my days, Mandzukic! How did we nearly score that? That seems so weird. The 90 pace of dreams, boys. The 90 pace of dreams! Referee! What? That was a very lucky goal, but we get the opening. Mandzukic, very fast player now. Actually crazy, but look at the time we score it. It's weird. We, I always seem to score or concede in the 45th or 90th minute. Let's go, Mandzukic get into the area. Is it going to Mandzukic? It's not going to Mandzukic. Oh, what even happened there? Okay, we get... Uh, we changed formation, by the way. I changed it to the 4-3-2-1. Just because I couldn't find any space of this Mandzukic against the opponent. 90 pace, I definitely feel it. But the problem is, this guy is closing Mandzukic so well. It's so hard to actually do anything. But changing this formation, I could feel like a big difference already. So I'm going to be playing the next match, 4-3-2-1, and change the team a little bit. Holy crap, that shot. So first match, I <laughs> can't really say anything about this Mandzukic. This guy closed us down way too well. Let's just get into the next match. 
All right, dude, so I've changed the formation to this one because I just didn't feel like I was able to do much with Mandzukic. So I'm going to try him out as a lone striker because as soon as I did it in the second half, he felt better and the opponent was a bit more vulnerable with Mandzukic um, just being the lone striker and my wingers crossing it to him. So let's see what we could do with the 4-3-2-1. All right, team we are going to face is a pretty nice hybrid, actually. Kelly Horn, what even was that, mate? What even was that? Referee, penalty. Mandzukic. Kelly Horn. That was insane from him. I don't even know how he was able to just push off so many defenders. Because in this game, guys, they catch up to you no matter what. But he felt so strong in that area. And Mandzukic, with the stay central target, man, he's going to be in the, in the right place at the right time all the time and I think he has 99 finishing or something like that so Douglas Costa with the back pass just to make sure it's a 100% goal Matuidi scoring us that goal hopefully this guy rage quits because this stadium is just I don't know how to even play I can't see where the ball is Okay, that was a nice goal from him. Um, I just didn't know what, how long he's going to keep passing it, but that was pretty good from him. Mandzukic! And that is why you buy him. <laughs> The 90 pace came in handy because you guys could see how quick he's running into the box. But um, people are defending like crazy right now in this game. They really know how to defend. Oh, he's definitely going to score this. Just the finishing is too good, boys. The finishing is too good. All right. Um, as you guys saw, I, I even knew before it even went in. Before I even took the shot, it was going in. So... In the dying seconds of the game, boys, well, not dying seconds, in the dying minutes, I guess, um, look at what we're able to do. The guy literally breaks down, and it's 4-1, just like that. Weak foot, chip, and 100% I knew was going in before I even took the shot. Because Mandzukic is one of those players in the penalty area, you know he's so reliable to finish. So... Even though we haven't scored any headers, I think we scored um, one volley, which you just saw at the end. Look at that. Mandzukic with the defending. I mean, it doesn't matter because he's a really strong player, so it kind of makes sense. So there you guys have it. First match, couldn't really break the guy down. Look at this match. It took ages to break him down at all. But you know what, guys? I feel like... If the scream card, the stat changes to dribbling, I feel like he will be a lot more dangerous. Not uh, Just keep it on pace and dribbling, he will be a lot more dangerous. I don't think shooting is what Mandzukic needs, because he's not the kind of player you're going to take long shots and crazy shots outside the penalty area with. He's more of a player that you will try and you know cross it to him all the time. And look at that, I couldn't break this guy down at all. And with Mandzukic, he's always in the penalty area at the right time, and he's always going to find you these goals. He's a goal-scoring machine. Um, I, let me just go to the squad screen and see how many goals I've scored. So look at that. Two matches, four goals. And um, I have to say, guys, 90 pace really helps him. It's, it's one of the best ones to upgrade. But I feel like if the dribbling was 90 instead of the shots, it would have been a lot... He, this card would be a lot more overpowered. He's not, a, like I said, he's not a striker that you need so much shooting for because he's not hes not a player that you will use like that. 75 dribbling is just too low and for, for, for a player that has 90 pace, even though he could run so fast in a straight line, but when you want to turn with him, it becomes a bit awkward. But guys, if you want an emergency sub, he's an insane player. And also at the same time, He's a he's a way better player as a lone striker. Do not try him out as a two two striker in a two striker formation. I didn't like him too much um, in a two striker formation, especially with the 90 pace. I feel like as a lone striker with two fast wingers, this guy is crazy. He's a goal scoring machine in two. Ma I don't think I've ever played a, a match with Mandzukic and he hasn't scored. 
He always scores no matter what. As I was ending the video guys, I feel like I wasn't happy with the footage I captured. It, was just, it just wasn't enough. There we go. Hamshik starts us off with that goal. Kelly Horn. Mandzukic. That is what I wanted to show you guys. And the guy rage quits. No. Okay, maybe that's enough footage. <laughs> what the hell? Or maybe he is not rage quitting. Maybe he's not rage quitting. Maybe there's hope. Maybe there's hope. Oh, man. Maybe he changed his mind. Maybe he paused the game by accident. I don't know. But look at that disgusting goal. All right. Mandzukic. Manzuki steals it and let's go Douglas Costa. Let's go Douglas Costa. Cross it in. <laughs> oh, the guy rage quits. No. He just couldn't he just couldn't take the bicycle kicks anymore. All right, so I think I guess that's enough footage. I don't know. 3 matches and um <laughs> So I guess we'll just end it there. Um, I th I potentially we could have scored a lot more goals against this guy as you guys can see against some opponents Mandzukic could easily just destroy them if they don't know how to handle him he could easily just score so easily past them I think how many goals did we score just one was it just the one bicycle kick two goals oh yeah it wasn't Mandzukic who scored the first goal but look at this guys absolutely crazy bam with his weak foot, bicycle kick. That's all there is to it. All right, so let me just summarize everything for you guys. A very strong player, at the same time, very fast now, which is a crazy combo to have. Still feels quite stiff though to move around with, especially now that he has 90 pace. When you want to run in a straight line with him, he kind of feels hard to turn with because he's just running too quick. Um, shooting, like I said, I would prefer if his dribbling was 90 instead of his shooting. Because I'm never going to use Mandzukic to, you know, shoot or take crazy shots outside the area. I know how I want to use him, which is I want him to always be in the area, crossing it to him, finding that emergency 90th minute goal if I can't break a team down. That's what you kind of use Mandzukic for. And if you have a hard time finishing 1v1s, this guy is basically insane to do that with. So, Mandzukic, I definitely hope EA changed his shot from 90 to back to what it was and put it on his dribbling. I think it's called shape shift or time shift. I don't know what they call it. So when that happens, I hope it's 90 dribbling. Is he worth 404K? Definitely not. He's not worth that much money guys. So make sure you wait until he drops down in price. He will probably drop down to 200. I don't know if he will drop down to 100 and less because he might get different stats that make him very overpowered throughout the year. I don't know how much he will drop down to, but I think he's worth it. He's definitely worth it under 150. Kind of iffy about 200 because he still has certain stats that are missing from a player in that sort of tier for pricing. So guys, that is all there is to it. The difference between this man Zukic and the inform, I would say, is the pace. The shooting, you won't feel too much difference. The pace really makes him really, really good. So hopefully you guys are happy with the footage I've captured. Tried playing three matches, and as you guys saw, against this opponent, we could have played, um, we could have scored a lot more goals because he just couldn't handle that Manzukic. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hit like one if you did, and hopefully you have a very nice day.